Hello to everyone, but Tommy Van Cool, and welcome to this tutorial. I'll show you how to make streaming from your DAW, which allows the customer to listen to the tracks or the mix without being forced to install special applications. Stay tuned. <laughs> The first thing first is to install a shortcut server on the machine in charge of transmitting the audio. It can also be the DAW machine. This does not prevent you from using a dedicated computer which need do not be extremely powerful. An old Pentium or i5 is enough. Before continuing, I invite you to put a like, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Now create an account on shortcuts.com. Start from the home page by clicking on Plans and Price and choosing the Freemium Software option. You don't have the features of the other versions, but what the free version has, it's what you need. You will be redirected to the registration page and proceed. Once logged in, at the top right, find your name. Clicking on a drop down menu, it shows the options. Choose for Manage your plan. Depending from the operating system you use, download the DNAS software. You do not need the key because you will not use the Shakas distribution network, but it will remain a private broadcasting. You are not a web radio and you don't want that all the world is listening to you. During installation, choose a directory that is out of a disk C, possibly on other disks or also on a USB stack, thus making the installation portable. Or you can install it on a hard drive, then move all the files on a USB stick. By clicking Finish, opens the window in which there are the shortcuts files. Clicking Setup.bat opens the browser and appears the firewall window. Allow access to both public and private. In case you're working on public network, tick also that option. In source password, enter the password you need for broadcasting, which must absolutely differ from the administration password. For convenience, I will use here ABC for source and ABCDE for admin. Enter the username for admin. Do not enter any key because it's not needed. As listeners, I put two at most. One is for you to test the system, the other for your customer. Untick the streaming box in case it's ticket. Click continue twice and then on run server. The server is now active, ready to transmit to those who connect. A console window opens and remains open in the background, where you will see real-time feedback from the server. Do not close it, because you actually shut down the server. In case it happens you are closed it, don't worry. Just double-click on sccserve.exe. Now let's move on the dough. On Reaper, there is the Reacast VST. It's a VST, so in theory, you can install it on other DOS that support VSTs. You need to know the IP to enter in the router later. Press and hold down the Windows key plus R. Type CMD, which stands for Command. The console window opens. Type the command ipconfig and look for the IPv4 address of your machine. In my case, 192.168.1.147. Take note and close the console. Now go to the DO, open Reacast, enter the IP number, column, the port number, which is 8000, which is the one of the server. In my case, it's the same of the DO. It can be your case as well. Give the broadcast password, in this case during the settings I put ABC, the name of the studio, your site if you have one, the title of the session, project rather than song, etc. Choose for the sample rate and the bit rate. And as soon as you tick on broadcast, the dough starts streaming. 
so go into play, it sends the music. By inserting a talkback track, you can also talk to your customer. You see a man on the road. To make this possible, however, the customer must have a link to connect. Now, let's see the necessary steps to create a stable link to send to him. Access your router in administration, choose the routing table, which can have the name of application and games, as in my case, or WAN services, or pod forwarding, or even NAT. In short, get a little familiar with your router. Enable port 8000, so that the router redirects all external calls to this port to the IP number of the machine used as a server by setting both TCP UDP. Save, and from now on the settings are permanent. In your router, in the WAN section, you find your public IP. If you don't find it because you have a particular router or you don't have enough familiarity, go to whatismyip.com and get it from there. To your customer, you must give this address, your public IP, column 8000. The customer will see the same window that I got during the test. Just click on play to listen to everything. That's all. I hope it was useful and you learned something. Bye.